Okay, so for uh, for the model kit uh, that we have chose, uh, that is Rizal, uh, the master grade, I think what I need is sending sticks. This is the new one that I bought. We definitely need cutter, hobby knife, sandpaper. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit detailing, so we need the driller. Uh, some of them, uh, like the professional, they use uh, uh, electric drillers. Uh, I personally like to use uh, electric drillers a lot. Uh, this I got is the quite stable driller, so um, we're gonna need one. Uh, we need we're gonna need drillers definitely for sure. So we don't. Uh, if you guys are on a budget, just get this. Um, we need uh, to do detailing, but we I don't need to do uh, I don't need to use gunner marker anymore. I use paneline. Uh, Paneline uh, uh, accent wash. Uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. Be right back. So, what we need uh, usually, like I said, the gunner marker is no longer needed. So, uh, I just use this Paneline uh, accent color by Tamiya. So, uh, it has a brush, so I just dip on it and uh, just use Zippo lighter to just wipe off the, the other. Uh, part of uh, the, the messy bits of the the kit, and we definitely need uh, Mr. Cement because I'm gonna glue this and I'm gonna remove uh, the seam lines, uh, any removable seam line, or you can use putty. Putty works as well. Um, we definitely do need. Uh, we definitely do not need glue because. Uh, I have a better glue actually, not this glue. Uh, I got, I went to the store and bought a couple of uh, elef uh, strong elephant gums uh, that some is dry up in an instant and some take 10 seconds. So, yeah, uh, definitely we need this. Um, other than that, I think we need. A pair of brush maybe we do a little bit more detailing uh, with the paint uh, so for for this kit this is what we need and a set of airbrush a set of colors uh, the paint I think the paint I'm gonna use a chrome raid uh, chrome red raid 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 uh, I'm gonna use chrome raid uh, for the kit and uh, uh, for the white part, I'm just gonna do with a gloss black. That's it. Um, other than that, I think we're good. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah, we're good. Uh, and the cutting mat. So basically, yeah, that we are good. So we should push all of this aside first. All of this, let's just put it aside and do what we need to do. So the kit that we're gonna be working on is the Master Grade Result by uh, Mobile uh, Mobile Suit uh, Unicorn series, I guess. Yeah, Mobile uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn, uh, the UC series. So let's do a little bit of unboxing. Um, I'm gonna adjust the camera so if you guys can see better. Hopefully that angle works a little bit. Okay. Okay, good. So we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing of this. Uh, let's see. Uh, when it comes, what it comes inside the box is uh, the instruction manual. So this is a 2010 uh, model kit. It's a transformable uh, mobile suit flight. So. Uh, Basically, it's a very basic, uh, basic build. If you guys built Rizal before, uh, very nice, uh, huge uh, detail there. The inner frame is nice. Uh, backpack unit is nice, and it will teach you the weapons, 
um, we had to put it all in and everything. Final assembly. You guys can see that. Final assembly. And then, uh, I'm not too sure if they give a stand. I think they did give a stand. I'll check that out in this unboxing. Um, I'm not too sure, but anyways, the stand I have. So, I have a stand, so it's not a big issue. So, they will teach you how to transform the flight. Uh, fuel transform the world. And, uh, yeah, the whole part of the kit looks like that um, very interesting uh, itself very very interesting so let's put this aside so you got all your runners here um, the color wise I'm not a fan but you know I'm just willing to paint it you guys can see I'm not a very big fan of the uh, color tone itself so so this is you got those color you got uh, transparency and white got this it comes with a sticker as well uh, the weapon system this is the flight and everything the first thing you want to do is take out your instruction manual and see your runner parts and I always say this to all Gundam fans um, when you purchase something check your runners before you just buy and just leave uh, because sometimes uh, things uh, tend to uh, be missing so this is one of the way that you can check it and uh, once you check everything is in and you're once you're, you go over your instruction manual already and you feel that you're very confident uh, then you're ready to build so uh, let's go and let's start building but before we start building uh, what you have to do is you have to open up the plastic parts right so let's put the instruction manual to the side there as uh, where I'm putting the instruction manual yet and start arranging your runners from A to Z so you always have to uh, check your runners start arranging from A to Z let's go Okay, so once you take out all your plastics and everything, I suggest you to leave this alone. Do, uh, do not lose it, so just put it in this box. Uh, but before we do that, we have to arrange from A to Z. Remember, A to Z. So the first thing is, you need to find runner A. So, this polycaps, right? This polycap, put it out where beside your cutting mat so anything is an easy access for you to uh, cut and uh, do so on and so forth so okay so you guys can see this is from a b c d e f g and h i j j k so up to K so that's fine no problem at all uh, once you have already done everything you arrange everything put the stickers in the box and like I said get enough space for you to put uh, your runners uh, where you want it to be 
Uh, my table is slightly messy, so uh, what I usually do is I will have another chair with me right at my side, so I can just take one, uh, one from my side here and just put it on the table itself. So, um, pole caps on here, instruction manual right here. Uh, some people always said that they need to get this uh, part separator, uh, runner separator, but I don't think it's necessary to get that. Um, you can just uh, do uh, like this, it's just fine with the box and you save a couple of bucks instead of buying a part separator. So it's not worth it at all. Uh, for me, in my case, I wanted to get that when I, I was studying Gumpla, but I found out that there's no use for it, so that's basically about it. Uh, I'm gonna get a chair, be right back guys. Okay guys, so we're back here. Um, so the first thing when you open your instruction manual, this is the head part. So they actually help you as well. Uh, to state which uh, runner you need. So you got an A, B, F, I and PC. So you got your PC with you like all time, it's an easy access and you need you need I so you can take that out F, you don't need C you got a B and you need A. So Okay, so uh, this is the runner parts that you need. What I usually do, I'll put that aside there and uh, because I'm going to show you how to cut uh, properly with uh, your Gumpla. So let me adjust the stand a little bit. Okay, so basically how you want to cut uh, your Gumpla uh, is very simple. Okay, let's say we go with this part. Um, you need I12 uh, and I11. So we go to our runners. Okay, and the first thing I stated earlier that you need to get your cutter ready and usually your hobby knife. But for me, I don't use this. I use this to cut plow plate and do extra detailing uh, for extra panel lining detailing for the hobby knife. What I usually use is a pair of sanding sticks so and sandpaper. So let's say we go to, uh, as we stated earlier, uh, you're on your cutting mat, everything is on your cutting mat, uh, nothing leaves your cutting mat. Uh, okay, so you need the part 11, uh, 11 and 12, I11, I12, don't know you can zoom that. Okay, never mind, <laughs> we're just gonna cut it anyways. Okay, so you need to cut 12 and 11, so the first thing you need to do is, let me see if I can change the angle of the camera so you can see better you can see your part of your runners like this okay don't cut it on the top because when you cut it on the top you rarely have the measurement uh, you sometimes can go very deep in sometimes you can make mistakes when you cut so usually what I do is I will cut from a part of this I mean a far distance far from the gap you need to have a gap so you can see is there's a nub there right one huge nub here doesn't matter because we're going to use that sanding stick to sand this down so you do it the same as the other part just cut that underneath as long as you can see and you see it's clean it has no issues and we're going to do for all of uh, all of this uh, all of the parts that we need and I'll get right back to you guys okay guys so we are back uh, after cutting this uh, 
uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, these two part of the head. Let's see if we can zoom that, focus in. Oh, much better. Okay, so you guys can see that knob here. So what I do is I don't stress it too much, and I I still leave a gap. But when I cut it, when I cut it, I I still want that gap. So when you cut it, you get you still get that gap, no problem at all. So you do the same for the others as well. So I will usually what I'll do is I'll go with the rough one. Uh, you guys can see this is aged for quite some time with me. Uh, basically, this uh, this part that the knob that you want it to be removed uh, let's see if we can focus on this one so basically once after you have already cut that 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 um, the knob piece is still there you just take your sending stick and just go slow like using a file just go straight don't pull back just straight And every time when you uh, send this, take a look, take a look first before you do uh, send, uh, uh, do uh, what do you call it, removing the knobs. It's harder to do on camera guys, I'm sorry, but I'm trying my best not to screw things up. See, the knob will still go down, so if it's complete, it will look something like it will look something like this you see it's sanded down and it's very rough and you have to be very precise with this or else you will live with uh you will live with a mistake like uneven you can see very uneven parts of the the shape itself so after you have run down with the rough one go with the medium one but just the same just lightly okay so once you're done with the medium one you have something like this so you guys can see it's centered down there's no more knobs there it looks smooth and good so after you're done with this the medium one you have to go with the fine um, usually like this kind of fine uh, the sending block so what you have to do is just go in circles no rush Take your own sweet time. Um, perfection is, it's all about patience. And go with the white part. Uh, wipe off all the, uh, the sand, uh, what do you call the, the plastic parts, uh, the rough edges. And then you can do the polish, the finish polish. And uh, usually I like to get this, uh, this part is like a sponge that it's just wipe off and uh, shines your your part that you uh, the part that you remove the knob so okay let's see if we can zoom this in look how good is that it's it's uh, smoothened out no knobs it's just polished out and you're ready to go with the next phrase um this is my style, like I said, uh, different people, different style. This is one of the good way that I use. Uh, I like, it's smooth right now. It's very, it's very nice and it's very shiny. Uh, there's no knob there. I hope you guys can see that. There's no knob at all. So uh, this is one of the good ways that I, I, I love to use. Uh, so. Go figures, uh, the next part I will do, uh, I will start, I mean basically I will start building this kit uh, but the next part what I'll do is uh, probably I'll do a little bit detailing in work and the paint will come on maybe in part 2, uh, maybe in part 3 or part 4 uh, after I've done uh, building this kit so uh, in the process of building this kit just uh, follow the way how I cut it and how I remove knobs using the sand, uh, sanding stick or you can use sandpaper sandpaper is uh, it works as well with this uh, with this uh, 
the uh, what do you call that uh, the strong medium and uh, uh, super fine so uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy today's tutorial uh, the ba uh, number one uh, uh, basic uh, things that you need before you start building Gumpla uh, I will see you guys in the next work in progress uh, for basic beginners uh, building Gumpla uh, I will see you guys in uh, the next video for uh, the work in progress for this result itself so I hope you guys enjoy if you guys enjoyed this video just click the thumbs up button on this video and don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next uh, work in progress video so I hope you guys having a great day and always remember just to be patient uh, when you're doing this kind of uh, model kit and do not rush so I'll see you guys in the next video itself so peace out guys see you guys soon bye